All right, so Virgo around love. Wow, that's interesting. You've got some pretty fantastic cards here. I think some of you Virgos who have been in relationships have left and you are on the hunt for something more exciting and more your, your kind of vibe. That's really cool to see. So there could be some fun things going on for you. Uh, the High Priestess card is present and this is, a, you probably recognize this card from Chris Ann's deck because that's the deck I'm using. The High Priestess, uh, this is the Lightseer's deck. A high powered woman who has strong psychic skills. So when I look at this love energy for Virgo, I'm going to say that's the kind of woman either the Virgo is, high powered, beautiful spirit, intelligence, good conversationalist, extreme kindness, very um, well versed or uh, knowledgeable in the chosen fields that um, they have and all the men want her. She's a lovely piece of energy. So this is the High Priestess in general. Now, any woman who embodies that, and we're talking about, you know, what is the embodiment of Virgo for the month of September? And that is if you're a woman, especially, you want to embody the, the High Priestess. You want to become her. You want to feel her. The goddess within you um, can be felt. By understanding that high priestess card and any virgo man is going to want a woman like that is going to want a woman who is high powered who is energetic who is a healer who is a teacher who is psychic who is absolutely beautiful like this woman so yeah this love card is all about bringing that energy in. this love vibration for virgo is i'm going to say about bringing that vibration back in either you are the uh, the one sought out um, as a high priestess or you it's either you are the high priestess or someone seeking the high priestess and this is the love vibration for the single Virgo those Virgos who are already involved in relationship um, your partner is going to see you as uh, most of you will be seen as a blessing as a beautiful creature uh, and somehow unattainable maybe somehow mystical somehow uh, own or in their own energy so it's sometimes difficult for even the partner of a Virgo to actually understand and to know where a Virgo's mind is. They are very independent individuals and sometimes you just never know what a Virgo's thinking. So for those of you that are in vibrant relationships, Virgo, continue on, of course, and enjoy. But there will be a, a number of you who wished you had have left a relationship. Remember who you are, Virgo. There's no need for you to settle at all. You're a vibrant, active, resourceful, creative individual who deserves a, a vibrant life. Just remember that. You deserve a vibrant life. All right? For sure. Um, and like I was saying, there are there's a number of Virgos who have recently become single who are working out the details. And this card's come up. And this is one of my cards. I love this. The Leo card. And it comes up as um, a, a strong, courageous, playful, energetic individual has um, emerged from that slumberous relationship. So I'm glad to say that those of you who have already left are starting to feel better. Those of you in difficult relationships will have to have those conversations to sort things out. But I do see the majority of you in relationship uh, having good ones. All right. So as far as love goes, I'm going to say that overall, you're going to be feeling the love this month. 